Mailbag day! <laughs> Woo! Mailbag day! So, this week's stack... We have... This bad boy. Ooh, man, it's not even in frame. That's how many are up here. Alright. Hey, let's get started. Pop this over here. Actually, where can I put this at? Yeah, that looks... That looks good. Okay. Let's start with a small, nice, flimsy, thin envelope. Oh, okay, like I said last time, I am not going to complain about these anymore. Everybody knows. And if you don't, go watch my video. Alright, so let's see what's in here. It. <laughs> oh, God. Are you kidding me? So we have a plain mailer with a standard priority mail mailer inside. Um, okay, let's hope whatever's in here is not destroyed to hell and back. Okay, what are you? Oh, I know what this is. Come on, open up. Robotech, the new generation number one. I actually bought this for a Reverend Johnson signing. He actually did the cover art on this thing. I guess he's done a lot of uh, old anime comic books over the years, specifically some Bubblegum Crisis he actually did. I'd love to get a hold of and get him to sign those as well, so you'll probably be seeing them coming up. Anyway, awesome. All right, next up. Now this one here I actually opened prematurely, but I didn't actually open it because the packing on it was kind of Gah! It was horrid, so it sort of fell apart on me. Anyway, let's open it up and find out what's in here. Okay. <laughs> Priority mail box! What are you? You in a giant envelope? Yeah, they're actually in a giant comic bag. Come on. You can do it. Oh, <laughs> tight fit. I should have just cut that out. Man, these are crappy backboards. Oh, this is the complete mini series of Hellshock, at least the first mini series. These were done by Jay Lee, writer and artist. I loved these comic books back in the day. And I actually bought these again specifically for Jay Lee to sign. Beautiful. Man, I actually can't wait, wait to meet him and get him to sign those. And it's funny because Jay Lee has been showing up for some reason a lot at my local comic book store, just coming on down and hanging out. So it'd be kind of neat to see. I can't wait to meet him myself. All right, what do we got next? This is not a Gemini mailer, but I can tell by this it's a U-line mailer. It's actually for books, but it works just as well for comic books. Oh, wait a second. This is Gemini. What? I've never seen a Gemini mailer this thick. Oh, did they change the design on me? Uh, see, now I actually got to do some research and find out, because these are actually kind of cool. A little bit thicker, so they're going to cost a little more, more to send, but wow. Awesome. Unless this is a book variety of mailer that I did not know about. Either way, saving it. And now we got a lot of cardboard. What are you? What are you? You're falling out of your little holder. I got some masking tape that's falling apart. Oh, this is actually just another trashed backboard on here. Come on. Oh, there we go. Come on, come out of there. Wow, this thing is stuck in here. Masking tape from hell. And this is a Marvel Legacy number no. one Granoff cover. I actually bought this for Granoff design. It's actually a really cool cover. It made Laura look like such a snot. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, the book act or the bag actually broke on me here. Wow, that was holding on like crazy. 
This book is in good shape though. It doesn't look like it got bounced around too bad. Awesome. Happy with that. Next up. I have no idea. Fragile book. Handle with care. Man, oh, damn, packing tape. Miracle Man number two, Frank Cho cover. I actually bought this for Frank Cho to sign. Beautiful. And Miracle Man's a great series. I actually picked up several different variants from different artists to sign. Not only because they did the covers, but because Miracle Man is such a great story. It really is. Very cool. I would suggest anyone read it. Yeah, that is not coming off. I guess I'm just replacing that bag. And board. Wow. Yeah, it's actually very cool. I like it a lot. Next up, some cardboard. It's a flimsy mailer, but they put some nice packing in between it. Shop like nobody else. Alright. Oh, that one actually just came off. Ooh. Let's see. Wow, they really take this thing down all over the place. Batman Rebirth number one. And this is the Tim Sale variant cover. And this I actually bought specifically for Tim Sale and David Finch, both to sign. I'm actually going to get a chance to meet both of them coming up. Beautiful. That's a really cool cover. Tim Sale's a crazy artist. I kind of love it. All right, what else we got here? We got a whole lot of eBay packing tape. Oh, they actually shrink wrap their books together. I don't like that mailer. That one will go in the trash. Wow. Yeah, these are all... <laughs> First time I've ever seen that. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of backboards. Oh, look at this. Dark Horse Heroes, ghost number one. I bought this for Adam Hughes to sign. I'll actually be getting a chance to meet him, too. Old book, and wow, it's in good shape. I cannot complain. Except for this binding over here. Nope, we're good. Sometimes when you see these little nicks, somebody put this in a comic book box, and it drugged, because it was a nice, tight fit, and it leaves these little crease or crinkle marks, but it also gouges them into the spine of the comic as well. So you always got to look out for that. If you see the bag is damaged right here, make sure you double check your spine. Awesome. These are some old boards too. Man, they're all yellowed. Yeah, they're not good for anything. Except for packing. <laughs> all right, next up. Another awesome mailer box. a good one. I'll keep that one. And you are? <laughs> Another backboard. I love when that happens. Get all excited and happy for a big reveal and then nothing! Okay, let's, let's all do this together. Art germ variant cover of Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. Beautiful. This is the Legacy Edition. All right. Wow, that's cool. Art Germ is such an amazing, amazing artist. I dig him. And Jerry Conway. So Jerry Conway will be signing this book for me.
Beautiful. I like that. Next up. Actually, that's a good backboard. I'll keep that one. All right. We got a lot of. I just looks like they reuse this weird. Oh, it's paper tape. Gotta love that. How the hell? Can you open this thing. Man, this thing is a giant mess. <laughs> Let's see what we got though. Cool. Del Auto cover of the Secret Empire. Number 10. Awesome. I just bought this book because I like Del Auto. I like his artwork a lot. And if anybody hasn't seen it, there is a Wolverine number 35 from some time ago that uh, Del Auto did the variant cover for, but it was only available in the European markets. Uh, specifically, it was Germany. And it is an absolutely beautiful comic book. Uh, I'm actually so sad that I, I missed it while it was still cheap, and now it's like several hundred dollars when you find it. Oh, we got a little, is that a rip or something? Looks like it's just a cut into the bag and a little tear. Still in good shape though, happy. All right, we got next, we have Pachow. We have a Gemini mailer is what we have. Oh, see, that's the difference. Okay, I was right. This is the mailer's Gemini sells for comic books. And in this here, they actually sell for regular books. See that? See, they're a versatile company. That's why you should support Gemini mailers. All right, what are you besides a whole ton of tape and bubble wrap, which the tape is going to ruin, so I cannot even reuse it. Oh, or is it? No, nope, it's ruined. <laughs> All right, come on. You are da -da -da -da. Wolverine number 75 from the Fatal Attraction series. This is dealing with the aftermath of having his adamantium torn out of him. Oh, look at that cool, cool hologram. Oh, the 90s, gotta love them. Yeah, actually, this is a minor key, and I, I, I actually, I don't have this issue anymore, and that's specifically why I bought it. I just wanted to replace it. This is about the time when I was collecting comic books originally, back in the 90s, so I bought this retail. And now it's long gone, and here it is again, back in my hands. Wow, it needs a new bag of board, though. Looks like it hasn't been changed since the 90s. Beautiful. And then we got a box. Let's see what's in this box. <laughs> styrofoam peanuts. I love styrofoam peanuts. And yes, I'm being sarcastic. All right, what's in here? Oh, see, that's actually worth it. This is the very first issue. Oh, this is the Ghost Special. The other one was the first issue. This is the Ghost Special. Number one, Adam Hughes. Another one I bought for him to sign. Like I said, back in the 90s, this is actually about the time when I was collecting comic books, so all of these were right there. They were in your face. Everybody had them. They were amazing stories and great art, and they just bring back a lot of memories, so it'd be cool to get this thing signed. Awesome. Next, I think I'll keep the box of peanuts know when you'll need peanuts. All right, next up, we have a party mailbox. I'm not quite sure what's in there. I got a lot of tape. All right, that popped easy. And got some newspaper. Let's see, where's the newspaper from? Who shipped this to me? The Akron Beacon Journal from Ohio. So this came from Akron, Ohio. I usually don't know who they come from when I open them because I ripped the label off. Yeah, let's see, what are you? There are a whole lot of cardboard. Gee. I see top loaders in there. And I 
think I see a business card. Maybe not. I don't know. Yes? Alright, well, I'll see it soon enough because it totally is a business card. I will give a shout out to whoever sent this to me. Wow. God. Oh, so glad that wasn't attached to the top loader. It's actually attached to a backboard. Alright. Oh, nice. Ghost Ship Comics sent me not one, but two. Astonishing X-Men number one, Mark Brooks Virgin covers. Woo, gotta love these things. I'm a total sucker for them. Wow, yeah, they actually came in top loaders. Beautiful, brand new top loaders too. Oh, this one is kind of trash now with all the tape on it. And like I said, this came from Ghost Ship Comics. eBay seller Martin1928. Go look them up. Premium comics and collectibles. All right. Wow, that was actually totally worth the wait to open those last. All right, so my comic books for this haul. We have two Virgin Cover Psylocke Mark Brooks. Beautiful. That makes, this is number four and five now. I'm sorry, I'm addicted to these things. Although I will end up selling a bunch of them. So keep an eye out. I think I'll probably just give everybody a heads up when I start putting them up on eBay. And then we have the Ghost Special, number one, for Adam Hughes to sign. Wolverine number 75, Fatal Attractions. And this I bought just to replace it for my collection. It's actually in really good shape too. I'm very happy with that. A little curve right here, but nothing an encyclopedia sitting on top for two months won't fix. <laughs> and Secret Empire number 10, Del Auto cover. Beautiful. And Amazing Spider-Man number one, Renew Your Vows Art Germ cover. And this is actually set for Jerry Conway. Oh, what day is today? Today is, I don't even remember. Oh, actually, by the time I put this up, I would have already gone to the Jerry Conway signing. So, sorry guys. <laughs> and then we have Ghost number one. This is Adam Hughes right here. Batman number one, Rebirth for Tim Sale and David Finch. Oh, and King, Tom King. I'm meeting him as well. Get him to sign that. Three signatures on there. Beautiful. Miracle Man number two for Frank Cho. One of these days, I will get around to meeting Neil Gaiman. I love his writing. The man is absolutely amazing. I've been hooked on his novels, his comic books, everything over the years. So, But to start with, I will get Frank Cho to sign it. Marvel Legacy number one. And this is for 80 grand off. Actually, who wrote this? I'm sorry, I guess I can just slip it out the bottom. It's all busted. <laughs> I need a new bag and board for this anyway. Don't even know. Won't tell me. There we go. Writer Jason Aaron. Hmm. Oh, we got some Steve McNiven artwork. That's another man that I haven't met in a while that I would love to. Actually, uh, met him like I don't know two years ago now. He was really awesome. I'd like to get some more stuff signed by him. All right, put this back in the incorrect way to at least have some protection until I put it in another bag and board. There we go, pachow. And then we have our four issues of Jay Lee Hellshock. Man, this guy's artwork just really, really does it for me. I love it. It's so amazing. And last but not least, Robotech the New Generation number one from Comico. And this has a date with Reverend Johnson. Woohoo! Alright, that's my mailbag for the day. Thank you for watching. Um, to uh, all my new viewers, hey, 
Thanks. If you uh, like what you see, make sure you subscribe. Hit the little icon over there. Hit the little bell up there. Do all that kind of good stuff to everybody that has already been subscribed. Man, my subscriber numbers are shooting up, so thank you so much. I love you all. Everybody who's been sharing, liking, commenting. I really dig the comments. I love, you know, building this whole little community. It's awesome. I love it to death. And uh, like always, take it easy.